Um, the uh, budget suggests that, that the minister, again, is going to be spending a million dollars on informational ads. Can the minister uh, uh, tell uh, the public of British Columbia uh, what he is spending that money, that money on? Minister. Mr. Chair, the member opposite will be very happy to learn that uh, while there is indeed a million dollar budget for informational spending, that the net sum of $8,925 was spent in fiscal year 13-14. I'll repeat, $8,925. Member of Vancouver Point Grey. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I, uh, I'm a bit uh, puzzled by the response because I thought we were talking about budget 2014-15 uh, and whether or not to approve it. And I see there's a million dollars budgeted for uh, informational advertising. And I, could, I wonder if the minister could explain what his plans are for that million dollars.
Minister. Mr. Chair, the, the budget as allocated uh, for communication is a notional allocation uh, to communicate changes in, in the system. And I'll just use the example of uh, federal rule changes on international student or visa requirements. So, so that's the, the reason why that's placed in the budget for changes uh, anticipated or yet to come. Member Vancouver Point Grey. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I note that that amount of money could provide uh, 100 BC graduate students with $10,000 each in a scholarship, which would make our schools competitive with schools in Ontario, uh, in Alberta, who do give scholarships to their graduate student residents. It could create hundreds of trades training spaces, uh, rather than advertising for the federal government, Mr. Chair. Um, I encourage the minister to revisit that uh, uh, al notional allocation of money, especially if he doesn't plan on spending it, because students actually could use that money and could spend that money. Uh, 